Hello everyone, Darcy Bono here. In this video, we're going to look at creating the black and yellow color scheme of the Cronus hegemony of the new Leagues of Otan. So I've started by priming this miniature with the new Citadel White Scar Spray. Now the reason we're using white, even though the armor is going to be black, is because of the whole bottom half of this miniature. It's got a cloth jumpsuit that in the book shows a nice bold yellow. So we're going to actually be using contrast paint to make that a much simpler process. So without much further ado, let's get started. So this entire process is going to be mostly contrast paints. We're going to start by mixing black Templar contrast with a little bit of contrast medium, about a three to one ratio. You just want it to flow off your brush smoothly. And all we're going to do is we're going to do the black armor first. The reason we're doing this for newer painters, if you're ever working with a light color and a dark color in your color scheme, do the dark color first. The reason for this is because if you get a little bit of the light color on your black armor later, it's going to be a lot easier to fix going over it with a dark color again to correct it. Whereas if you went to do the yellow first and then went to do your black armor and accidentally got some of your black on your yellow, it's going to be much more difficult to correct that using a light color like yellow to go back over a dark color like black. So always do your dark surfaces first when you have such contrasting colors. So that being said, just paint all the armor in this black Templar. Now, if you haven't worked with contrast paints before, keep an eye on these large flat surfaces. Make sure that it's not over saturating them or pooling. Make sure you're spreading it evenly over these surfaces. If it does oversaturate an area, do not worry about it because we're actually going to be able to fix any of that in the next step. Also, I realized it might help to show you this on a white background so the armor doesn't blend into my background behind me. So yes, sorry about that. Background change. Now you can actually see a little bit better how this armor looks when the contrast paint is applied. We are going to speed this up though for the sake of time since it's essentially just me base coating the armor. All right, so here we are. The Black Templar has fully dried and it should look something like this. So what we're going to do next to add a little bit more definition as well as a bluish hue to this armor is do a dry brush using a rounded tip brush like this. This is actually a makeup brush, an ELF smudge brush that's used for smudging eyeshadow. Now eyeballs are a rounded surface. These brushes are fantastic for painting rounded surfaces. So to create this bluish highlight, we're going to be using Fenrisian Gray and we're going to be applying it in a somewhat hybrid of dry brushing and edge highlighting. As with any dry brush, make sure to get most of the paint off your brush and your first strokes should be on sharp edges. If you do it on the more rounded edges, like I'm doing right here, you're gonna end up with a little smudge. If that happens, just lightly pat it until you get more of a gradient like what I just did. So your first stroke should be on your sharpest edges and you'll see what that looks like uh, right where his belly is. Those edges get picked out very quickly, very easily. And then the other thing that I really like with this brush is that you can turn it sideways and get in these crevices. So it's good for wide surfaces, but you can also use it for getting in very narrow areas as well. So here he is, his edges are nice and picked out. He looks a little dusty, but what we're gonna do is restore him back to the more saturated black while retaining those blue edges. This is a glaze of Black Templar. So it is one drop Black Templar to about three drops contrast medium. You basically just want it very transparent because you don't wanna undo the edges that you just put on this, but you do want to bring his black back up to a more saturated black. Now I recommend having a small dollop of of just straight contrast medium on your palette just in case you oversaturate an area. Now you're gonna see me correct this in just a moment. I oversaturate this pauldron here and all I do is I rinse my brush, dip it straight in the contrast medium afterwards after getting the water off of course and then use that contrast medium to just wipe it away. So that's basically all you do is just apply this glaze over the armor to resaturate it while still retaining your highlights. So 
So that's the black armor done. We're gonna move on to the leather surfaces. Now, I painted these and realized, hey, I'm not recording. So this is Sigor Brown, straight from the pot Sigor Brown. is a very dense color, so again, I keep a little dollop of just contrast medium that I use to just kind of thin it out here and there. These aren't very big surfaces. They're also very textured, which is great for contrast. So you don't need to be really too careful other than just not getting it on your white where your yellow is going to be. If you accidentally get some of this mahogany on the white uh, surface that will eventually be yellow, don't stress out. Rinse your brush, use the damp brush to wipe it away as best you can. If there's still a residue, which there probably will be, it's a very pigmented color, don't worry. Just go back, let it dry, and then go back over it with either a light gray or a white and tidy it back up. It, it really does not take too long after you do that initial kind of wipe away. So while I wait for this Sigor Brown to dry, I'm actually going to do an optional step. I'm just gonna add a slight edge highlight to the sharpest, sharpest edges using the same Fenrisian Gray. Now, you don't need to do this on your basic hearthkin. I would do this on something like a hero model just to add a bit more definition to it. Uh, but again, this isn't going to be on everything. This is just on the sharpest parts where the light would be hitting the most. Once your Sigor Brown has completely dried, if you'd like to add a bit more definition, here's another optional highlight using Mornfang Brown. I'm just lightly going over the edges of everything. Again, you don't need to do this if you're just painting to tabletop standard or just you want to get through them quickly. Uh, but if you'd like them to look a little bit nicer, you can highlight Sigor Brown using Mornfang Brown. All right, with our leather portions all finished, now here's the moment we've all been waiting for. We're gonna start with the back where it's most visible. I am just going to apply Nasdrag Yellow Contrast straight from the pot, not thin down, and this is going to do literally all of the work for the yellow. Again, if you find that it's pooling on some of the rounder surfaces like his butt, uh, just use that contrast medium to help push it around so it doesn't saturate one particular area. But this is literally all you do for painting the yellow fabric. It is the easiest thing ever. Now, there are actually four other contrast yellows. This is my favorite because I feel like it gives the most saturation, but also the most actual contrast. The new Imperial Fist Yellow and Bad Moon Yellow are great for saturation, but I don't feel that they give actual contrast and help pick out the texture of this fabric. So that's why I'm using this compared to the others. And it was at this point in the video I realized I forgot to paint the cod piece. Yeah, I definitely thought those were his pants, but they are not. So I just quickly took care of that off screen. And this is the completed uniform. So, ta-da! Now, just so I don't have these white weapons glaring out at me for the uh, final picture, I'm just gonna coat them in black Legion contrast. And this will also give you a nice comparison between the two black contrast paints. This is a much warmer black. This is a very brown black compared to the greenish black of Black Templar. So I'm just gonna coat these entirely in Black Legion and then maybe follow it up with a dry brush of Lead Belcher, but this video was meant to be entirely regarding the uniform colors. So just doing this for the sake of completion and so the post picture doesn't look ridiculous. And the grand finale to making this guy look awesome is to apply Frost Heart Contrast right to the visor. Now we're just gonna lightly apply this and then you're going to rinse your brush and then just take just straight contrast medium on your brush and wipe out the center portion. This is going to cause the contrast paint to diffuse and create a little bit more of a gradient. And then we're going to take a dried brush, this doesn't have anything on it, and just kind of lightly pat the center so that white base coat shows through, but we still retain those bluish tinges. And you can do this with basically any contrast paint, but that's how I do my visor glows. And I'm repeating the exact same process for his little chest light here. Just apply it so it saturates the edges and then wipe out the center. 
And here is our completed hearthkin of the Cronus Hegemony. Now I did complete all of the metal surfaces like the weapons and the belt buckle using lead belcher followed by a coat of basilicanum gray contrast, but since this was just a video specifically on the faction colors, I didn't show that on film, but that is how they were done. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe as there will be more in the future. And if you really found it helpful and are feeling particularly generous, please visit my Ko-fi link in the description. It's essentially just a tip jar for if you would like to throw a little monetary appreciation my way in the support of the creation of more videos. So thanks very much for joining me guys and until we meet again, happy painting everyone!